Hey everybody, before we begin, I just want to make an amendment to the announcement that you're going to see after this part of the video. Um, in the next part of the video, I'm going to give people details if they would like to provide um, a potential segment for video testimonials through my website. I'm giving the update that if you do so, it will not be viewable on YouTube. That means the only way anybody can see your testimonial is if they go directly to my website and they click on the video of, you know, whatever, testimonial, real, testimonials, etc. So if you want to provide a video testimonial, um, and I give the details in the following video about how you would go about doing that, um, then remember, it will not be viewable on YouTube by anybody. It's going to be a private video, so no one can even see it in the listing. And it will only be viewable through my website if people go to my website, click on the video, and view the testimonial. So basically, if nobody goes to my website, um, or, you know, whoever doesn't go to my website isn't going to see you on the video. It's only people who actually go to the website and click on the video. All right, that said, um, I have updates for you coming up, and I will see you later. Hey guys, this is Hale for HES Ultimage, and this is just a little intro with some updates for you since um, I'm kind of trying to add a little bit more to the channel and switch it up a little bit. Um, so I'm just going to try and, you know, be spontaneous and describe all various things that I'm kind of coming through with. Okay, so first one is, from now on, <laughs> I'm trying to do a little thing that for me was fun and um, I think it wound up being fun for everybody else too. I'm going to start offering one free mini monthly every month, okay? Um, so here's how that's gonna work and I'll tell you how the idea originated. Um, I got food caught in my teeth during the Leo video and it was right in the middle of the message so I couldn't edit it out. Um, so I did a little guessing game with them for them to win the free mini monthly to guess what I ate for dinner that night. And, um, it worked out and somebody got it and they got their free mini monthly and, you know, it, it drove a little bit of participation and at the same time it's like the opportunity for me to give back to by giving a free, uh, little reading like that. Um, so here's how it's gonna work. Leo's already had the opportunity, so from now on it'll just be one sign every month will get that opportunity to get the free mini monthly and it'll be some dumb question i'll ask or something really trivial it's not like something that you can study for you know it'll just be some random question maybe about like just stuff about me or whatever like something simple that nobody could really know so that way it's like perfectly um, fair that everybody just has this random silly guess and then you might just win the free mini monthly. Um, it can only be given to one person. So, because otherwise then if I'm doing like tw 12 like free mini monthlies, it's going to kill me. <laughs> and you guys already know how like I've had to watch over exerting myself before. Um, so it can only go to one person. So you leave your answer in the comment section. And, um, that will be, you know, your answer is, like, locked in, and then I'll send you, like, a private message if you want. But also, like, put in the comment section that you want as well. So it's, like, whoever answers it first is the one who gets the free mini monthly. So if you answer afterwards, it doesn't count anymore, guys. I mean, it, that makes some sense. But, but yeah, I just wanted to cover that. I'm excited to do it. I thought it was a lot of fun to do it, and I mean, I like to be able to do, you know, that little something extra. It made me feel good, too, to be able to do it, because I was like, rather than getting everybody yelling at me about having food caught in my teeth, I'll just, like, preempt it and make it into something positive instead of into something negative, all right? So, um, that said, I really enjoyed doing it, so I'm going to keep doing it, all right? So it just means that one person every month um, out of the viewers who choose to participate in that little guessing game. Again, it's only going to be one side a month, guys. So you can either look for it, because you can look for it. I'll do it at the beginning of the video unless I do one of these little update things first, in which case I know it comes second, or, or I'll just put it in the beginning so that way, you know, it's not as much to have to sift through. But 
So that means, you know, if it's Leo one month, it won't be Leo again for another year, okay? Like, I'm gonna try and rotate them, but I'll probably try and stagger them around and switch it up so, you know, so that way I keep it like a surprise, okay? Instead of making it too systematic. But I wanted to clarify that it's not going to be in Leo for two months in a row or twice in a year, okay? So for those who enjoyed the Leo one and, you know, got to have a chance at that, now it's going to be in the other videos, okay? Again, the only way you're going to know it is by seeing the intro where I go, Hey guys, you got a chance to win a free mini monthly. Here's the stupid question. <laughs> I'm sorry to keep calling it a stupid question, but I want to clarify. This isn't about book smarts. This isn't about, you know, who can look things up on my Facebook. You know, it's just a random thing that you just guess and maybe you'll win. It's that idea. All right. But, um, yeah, and that one's a recorded reading, so I just send it through the email. But, hey, it's a free reading. Awesome. All right, so, that said, moving on to some other stuff. Um, I had an idea, and I'm going to put it through to you guys. And I may or may not execute this idea. I'm going to see what the response is like and what comes through, and from there I'll make my decision. So here's the thing. Everybody who's seen my website knows that I don't have any testimonials. This is the reason. It's because I always believed that I did not like written testimonials at all because anybody can write a written testimonial so it's like I could have written them all how would you know the difference and I'm like screw that I mean as much as it's nice to see a written testimonial and go well you know that's you know whatever it's great but at the end of the day how do you really know that was real um so this was what I was thinking and we'll see how this goes or if it winds up materializing so hear me out um, for those of you who have gotten readings from me before, um, here is how I got this idea. There was actually the winner of um, the prior month's mini monthly was so nice, and she actually sent me a little like two minute video um, response uh, to her reading. And it was just shot off her cell phone, and it was really great. And it was just like, really nice to put a face to it and like see that you know it made a difference for her and she felt really good about it and that's what i was thinking would be really great for the testimonials if i did them so here's my idea all right so if you've had a reading from me before um and would like to provide a testimonial here is how i would like to do it if you could take like a one two minute video off of your cell phone so really low um budget you know no no high production value here just like a simple no frills video just saying you know um how you felt about your eating you know what makes my particular style appealing to you compared to others or you know, how it came through for you, and all of that, then you would send that to me, to my email. If you've had a reading from me before, you probably still have my email. Um, it's just my name at Gmail, just to refresh your memory. Um, you can also send me a contact form through my website saying you'd like to be a part of the testimonial reel. Assuming that I put everything through and put it together because basically then what I'd like to do ideally is Fuse all of those little few minute clips together into one video that I will embed only into my website Because that's the other thing like I understand that if you put your face to it Then it's not perfectly anonymous, but you don't have to give your name. You don't have to give your country You can if you feel like it. I mean um, or you, you know what, actually, I kind of think telling your country might be fun, since I know I get a lot of business from all over the world, and I think it's really cool, personally, and I like knowing that there are people all over the world who, you know, enjoy what I do and benefit from what I do, thankfully. Um, so maybe your country would be cool if you go, okay, 
Um, from here, this is, you know, how I got this reading, and I liked it, etc, etc, or, um, you know, he really picked up on these things, and that was pretty cool, etc. Like, however you want to put things or word it, I'm, I'm not a stickler with that. But, um, you don't have to give your name, you can if you want, but the idea is, because I really want to make this clear, I don't want the testimonial video to be a part of my regular YouTube, because of the fact that it's not really necessary in that way, your privacy and your um, identity are being, you know, kept more low-key. I understand that as a client, you don't really feel like having people comment on you, and honestly, I can totally understand that. I mean, I signed up for this. I signed up to be at the scrutiny of all people all over the world, and I have experienced things where people will just comment and just be mean or something, and I was like, I want to protect my clients and my fans from that kind of treatment. So if I do that testimonial reel, I'm going to make it, ideally, this is how I'd like to do it. Ideally, I'd like to make it as a private video and just embed it into my website. So the only people who can watch it are people who are actually coming to my website and looking for a reading, and they can't even comment on it. Or, if I can't do that, then I'll make it a public video that would still be accessible through my um, YouTube channel, but I would disable comments completely. Because it's like, I don't want people to comment on my clients or my fans. That is not a part of this package. So, um, so that said... If you would like to provide that one minute, two minute, like just few minute testimonial thing off of like your cell phone, and most cell phones have a camera now that faces you and you can just talk into it. Um, and you, most of them too have a feature where you can literally just forward the video through an email directly to me um, or to yourself and then to me. So it's like, I think it's a cool idea. I think it's very unique. I think I've never seen anything like it before where people do video testimonials, which I think is so much more intimate, so much more genuine, so much more me, I think, um, you know, judging by the way I do things. I mean, oh my god, I got this one comment and, and this person who was trying to just kind of like hate her on me was like, sit in a chair, man. It's like, that's not who I am, you know? And I mean, I always want to be true to myself when I do this, as much as, you know, true to my identity and what I believe and everything like that. And I would never do testimonials any other way. So, so I mean, if I only got like, you know, a few people, okay, because if my fans or clients just don't happen to know how to use their cell phone cameras or something, some might, some might not, it's not a big deal then I can always just put this off for another time. But I just think that this would be a really cool idea, and it's the only way I would ever want to do testimonials. So so if anybody is interested in doing that, you can take that little video of yourself and then send it to me, and then I can, you know, put them together into a video. Ideally, that would be great, but I mean, at the end of the day, I realize that if people don't want people to know that they got a reading from me, that's a-okay too. So I'm cool if it doesn't work out, but... but I just had, like, a vision of, wow, this would be cool, so I'm just putting it out there. I mean, I've survived, you know, a whole year with zero testimonials and get plenty of business, so it's not really necessary, but it's just, like, um, to me, it's, like, if I was gonna do it, this is how I would, and it would be a nice little addition, so. All right, so that said, um, thinking if there's anything else that I'm gonna kind of go into, um, yeah, I mean... I think I'm pretty good. So, so that said, on to your scheduled programming, and thank you for listening. Hey, Leos. This is Hale for HES Ultimage, and this is your channeled tea leaf forecast for the month of October. Hey, guys. So, um, as per tradition, I will show you the teacup that I have here, even though now, to be honest, Teacup readings are pretty much almost straight channeled readings at this point. It's like the closest thing I do to just straight channeling. I mean, now I'll just get a few symbols and energies and then it's all just channeling the rest of it and filling in the blanks. So, um, it's so like I'll still show the cup, but honestly at this point it's like... I've discovered that it's not even about just like seeing a symbol in a cup and going that's what it has to be, but it's like understanding the bigger picture around it and and getting the basis of what I need in order to channel the rest of what I need to convey. 
So, I mean, really, it's, like, the difference between um, a person, like, reading a definition in a book versus having a jumping off point because that's the other thing like somebody asked me before why can't you just channel the mes message straight up because that takes up a lot of energy and that can be really confusing you know when you channel straight just straight with nothing it's like playing charades with well in my case with my higher self and you can't see your higher self it's like playing charades with a person you can't see you know that's not easy it's hard um i mean i'm getting better and better with my channeling and everything every day, every month, you know, it hasn't even been a full year since I learned how to channel yet, people, like, um, I mean, that was just one person, so I mean, but just to address, because I was describing to you how it kind of works, it's easier for me to find a jumping off point and then hear the channel through it, even if it's something completely different, than, you know, to just start blank, you know, that's, it takes time, I'm fr friggin' 27, people, anyhow, but that's also why I'm calling it a channeled um, tarot or tea leaf forecast now from people who began to channel with me. It was divination forecast before I learned how to channel and before I had my spiritual ascension. At that point, it was spirit um, tarot or tea leaf forecast. Now it's channeled forecast because I understand that I channel my higher self. Therefore, that is the most suitable title moving forward, and that's fabulous. Okay. Um, that said, I do personal readings. If you want one, go to hesultimage.com. Uh, spell just like the channel, and okay, now I will get into your um, message for October. All right. All right. Okay, so first one I'm getting is the image of the letter, and that's related to um, the, the energy of the glass section that I have in the cup. So that's social um, interactions, events networking um so for leos in october networking being social getting connections i would say okay all right getting connections is going to be something that's of a particular importance you could also be receiving important um okay emails letters mailings um texts etc uh, you know, communications that might be of great value. But again, it would only be through other people, like, so it wouldn't be something random. It has to do with interaction. Okay. And I'm literally getting just be very social is the big thing. Um, so, you know, if you are, okay, let's get some examples in here. Um, if you were to um, be in the mood in October where you're like, oh, I don't feel like going out, whatever, whatever, get yourself out. Um, you know, if you are invited to a party, go to the party. If you're thinking of doing some sort of um, social activity or, you know, go doing some sort of outing like going to a show or going to a fundraiser of some kind or a community project or something like that, do it. The point is, you should be out mingling with people and out interacting with others. Oh, okay. And now we're bringing in the horseshoe element, which was the en en energy of the luck and good fortune thing. So apparently there will be, yeah, really good opportunities for you presented through other people this month. Um, and different people get this at different times, but for you, it's very particular in October that you can receive opportunities through other people, or fortunate and serendipitous, um, interactions and or rewards, kind of, for, um, for having met the people. Um, in other cases, it might lead you to another source of some kind, like maybe you talk to somebody and you learn about a type of a program you could go to, or an event you could go to, or, you know, um, they know somebody who you'd like to get in touch with. Um, really, a lot of the good fortune and good luck is coming through your interactions with others. Um, so, really make that a focus for October. Um, this really is the big highlight. Okay. Um, and that said you know, really just make that your big focus. So this one's really simple um, for this month for you guys. It's really just get out, meet people, talk to people, interact. Um, even if it's like 
a night out with your friends or with your family or something like that, you never know what could result from, uh, uh, you know, um, an, a gathering, an outing, a, you know, a, a time where you get out of your own space and are forced to, you know, create conversation. All right? All right, so that said, I do personal readings. If you want one, go to hesultimage.com, spelled like the website. And I wish you a very happy and very social October, and I will see you later.